Good afternoon once again ladies and gents, guess Gex back doing a bit more of this fantastic game that I'm really, I've got to say, really, really enjoying at the moment called Gone Home and we are trying to piece together the mystery of what the hell happened in this house because there's a bit of a weird thing going on, we found quite a few sort of notes and things, there's a whole weird relationship between Sam and Lonnie and all sorts of stuff and anyway we don't know where anybody is and we're halfway through kind of ransacking doing a finders keepers on sam's room so hopefully we'll find a few more things that may shed some light on the situation but um and I'm, I'm quite intrigued about the whole oscar situation but um okay anyway we're back here sorry um, odd sound issues sorry going on at the moment anyway um Oh yeah, we just read through, because it, it was last night I was playing it, and it's, it's now this afternoon. And the storm's still going in real life, but anyway. Um, yeah, so we read through that, didn't we? That was it. And we're going to have a little peek to see what else we can find in a bedroom. Interesting pirate flag. She's obviously got a bit of a thing about pirates. Do we look at that? Oh, I should drink Jodie. Okay, so there's various sort of Jodie Foster, Neve Campbell, Shell Pfeiffer, various sort of people dotted about. You better not be okay, that's it. Oh, combination. Oh, there's a lock. It's another one of those four lock things going on. Anyway, okay. Anyway, we're going to have a little peek around what's around the rest of her room. Oh, okay, so it's like a kind of mini report thing. So, Samantha Greenbrier, Fletcher, engraving. Not a challenging assignment, metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mum and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable levelling on edges, show more pride in work. Interesting. So again, it's just shown that she doesn't really have interest in the kind of manual e type things. Oh, that's the codes thing that we already read. Oh, that's that weird magic eye thing. Oh, oh, more cartridges. Super Spitfire, okay. Slightly odd. <gasps> oh, they've even programmed in the green chippy bit. That's pretty cool. Do we not have a Street Fighter one? Journey of Crystal. That's got a sort of Zelda feel about it going on there. But anyway, I'm guessing it's a sort of Zelda y type game. Anyway, nothing else in there? Nope, can't see anything. We don't have a jump, so we can't look in there. TV's not actually functioning. We saw that. That was her sort of ac um, letter of uh, acceptance for the college, wasn't it? Yeah. Can't move objects like that. Oh, so she's got some reading material. So she's got. She's got some Austin, some Dickens, various things, Virginian, but, uh, Call of the Wild, Master of Inside, Scarlet Pimpernel. I've read most of those actually. Franz Kafka, yeah. Um, there's some of them better than others. Frankenstein could not get into, personally speaking, but um, no, she's got some good choices there. I must admit, some of them anyway. Selected stories and poems of Poe, good old Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, right, what else have we got? Did we look at the Misfits? I think we looked at that before. Kind of interesting, sort of Lady of Shalott style poster. I don't actually quite know what that's supposed to be. It could be that, it could be Lady of Shalott. I, don't, I really don't know. Anyway, let's chuck some extra light on. Good fellow, that's the school she went to, isn't it? We saw that earlier. Oh, a bedside drawer. Not that, your bell. Groove. Exclusive kit. AIDS in Africa. Sold us on live. Eddie Vedder, whoever that is. And Weezer. Bloody hell. Veruca Salt wants it now. Interesting. So it's just general kind of bands and stuff, biohazards. So she's just shows she's got kind of varied music tastes. Groove Kurt Cobain, 67 to 94. Indeed, indeed. Oh. oh I thought there might be something hidden under the pillow. Steggy, Steli? Probably Ste. Uh yeah, probably supposed to be Steggy because it's like. Yeah, I was going to say, because it's a Stegosaurus. So um, it's supposed to be Steggy, but anyway. Steli. <laughs> I don't know why she'd think it was that. Okay. Any other notes and stuff? Bit of a slightly messy room, but I guess teenage girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Did I see this? I don't think we see this. Um, hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to uh, second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Why not? Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. But we... Oh, beepers. Bloody hell. See, where I came from, because I, I grew up in the sort of 90s and stuff and early, early noughties, but um, we never had beepers. We kind of just went from landlines to mobile phones, but... I don't think I knew anybody that had a beeper. But anyway, um, but we're cooler than them because guess uh, guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. So she's got a cat, two cats on a bike with an alien spaceship or something. Not quite sure. Oh, interesting. The, the different colour ink suggests that Sam drew the black bits and 
Uh, Lonnie did the red bits, I'm assuming. Your drawing of cats was so good that I've added a background to make... Yeah, there we go. Added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing, though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr... P... P... Fish? Fish? Uh, fish? I don't know, anyway, whatever. Right now, I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like, his secret shame is watching 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. Okay, interesting that she's got that note kind of set up, like... I want to put it back there. Okay, um... As though she was kind of lying on the carpet reading that note. So, again, more clues and hints, a, a bit of an infatuation gun on there. <gasps> Somebody's not been taking their their dinner back. Actually, okay. So I think that's possibly oh, X Files poster. Oh, that's awesome. That's the poster from Mulder's office. I've always wanted one of those. One day, one day. Anyway, so we need to find a code for that locker. Oh, hang on. Is there stuff in the bin? Yes. Disciplinary referral. Okay. You land. Ah, you landed the Soto. Lonnie. That must be her. Lonnie, I'm guessing. Yolanda. Odd name. Ah, hang on. De Soto. That was the name of the girl we saw in the military uniform on that photo. Ah, so that's Lonnie. Okay. Okay, it's all piecing together. Mr. Benchley, observe. Miss, Ms. De Soto. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the one. Wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. Um, a large beer can labelled Pabst Blue Rib... Pabst. There is a thing called Pabst, isn't there? Like a type of beer in the States. I'm sure there is. Fabst? Or, I thought it was Fabst, but anyway, Pabst, Fabst, something like that. Anyway, Mr. Soto was sent to the guidance... I've seen it mentioned in something. Anyway, um, was sent to the guidance counsellor's office. Mr. Soto was given the option to turn... Sorry, I just thought I heard a weird noise. Uh, given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Mr. Soto chose suspension. Sorry, it was like massive rumble of thunder then. Um, her father was called, but there was no answer... And uh, no answering machine. Mr. Soto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Okay, so I like the way. You... Okay, I'm not quite sure why Sam's got this. Okay, I don't know why it's in Sam's bin. I would have thought it would be in Lonnie's bin. Anyway, All right, where do we where do we come from? I've sort of got a bit danger. Where goggles and rubber gloves gloves when handling anything in this room. Oh, that's where we. That's where we came from, wasn't it? We came from, yeah, up that corridor. Right, okay. Sorry, it's been, as I say, I've, I've slept since I last played this, so I can't remember. What the hell? Okay, we'll have a look in here. Got the old lights on. So this must be... Is this the parents' room, or is this the spare room? God almighty, what's happened here? It looks like the end, as I say, looks like the end of a Finder's Keepers episode. Bloody hell. Open drawer. Okay, so he's just closed drawers. So somebody looks like they've been... Packing or grabbing the basics in a bit of a hurry. There's like stuff everywhere. And bearing in mind the parents left a note about her being messy, so you would you would you would think that the parents wouldn't be messy themselves. Interesting. Okay, more clothes. More clothes. Love the sound that makes. God, how many pairs of jeans? Bloody hell. Near oh, Nero. What's that? Oh God, we know what that is. Yep, we know what that is. Anyway, let's pop that back and leave that well alone. Unused, you notice. Um, mind you, they wouldn't keep a used one in there, would they? That would be pretty rank. Anyway, let's turn some more lights on before we start investigating properly. It's quite dark in here. Okay. So we've been through there. More tapes. Okay, interesting. So we've got Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and the Fugitive. All the President's Men. How do you crouch? There we go. Um... What did I say? Oh, Jeopardy! Inside Edition. Uh, and the sound of music... Sing... something... I can't read the end bit. Some fading... I can't read that. And Gone with the Wind. And on the other side, we have Bridge on the River Kwai and Silence of the Lambs. Okay. Okay, interesting. I wonder if... Because there's two, par two sort of separate piles of videos. I wonder if they're his and they're hers. I wonder, because those ones down there, Sound of Music and Gone with the Wind and that, traditionally more, um, oh, hmm, I noticed the VCR's missing again, what's happened to all the VCR's, odd, anyway, we close this, keeping the room tidy, even though they weren't, okay, undie, undie pants, more undie pants, 
Oh, Mitten. Mitten was their cat by the looks of it. What the hell's that? I can't understand. Not quite sure what's going on on the right there. Odd. Anyway. Um, nothing in there. Nothing in there, just clothes. Odd that you, you can't put this back. Okay, that seems to be kind of fixed there. Okay. The bathroom. So let's pop the light on, see what we've got in here. Okay, there's... Hang on, let's, let's, let's explore properly. I'm rushing through it again. Can't open those. Nice. Okay. Nope. Sparkle. Green apple hand gel. Cinnamon. Ugh, that sounds foul. No bandages. Nothing too... Yeah, nothing too kind of exciting going on in there. Let's pop the light on. It's just what you'd expect. See, that's what I like about this game. It's it's not not everything is relevant. It's you know some of it is just what you would find. You know, towels and cack. Oh, a book. After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse personally, spiritually, and sexually. Okay. Okay. Yet again, more evidence that they're possibly having a bit of maritable, uh, no, marital difficulties or turbulence, possibly. I don't know. Typical bathroom type painting. Okay. Again, the evidence is stacking up, I have to say. There's a book under there. Hang on, we'll come back to that in a second. I saw there was a book under there. Okay, I don't know why, but for some reason... Oh, postcard. Ah, Houses of Parliament. And a bit of Big Ben. Um, Dear Mum, Dad and Sam, I'm in the channel. Uh, that's Channel Tunnel for anyone that's not sure what that is. Some of the non-UK viewers may wonder what that is. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. <laughs> she loves that word. Uh, London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Mum, Dad, and Sam. Fair enough. Willie Nelson. Bloody hell. Um, I wonder if the dad was a bit of a hippie back in the day. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Anyway, I'm assuming, I don't know, for some reason I assume that this is the dad's side of the bed. I don't know, possibly, I guess there's pants and things. Oh, hang on, is that? No, it's just a leg of the bed, I think. Ah, uh, another copy of the Bible. Hang on. Oh! Unknown Dimension Literature. Oh, okay, so it's presumably a... Yeah, I was going to say a publisher. Yeah. Communication must become total and conscious before we can stop it. Interesting. Yeah, this is... I'm sure this is the dad's side of the bed. Okay. Right. I thought that was a marijuana leaf on the bed sheet then. I thought that was a bit inappropriate. So we've got folders and stuff. Hang on, there's a letter in there. Yeah, actually. Actually, let's have a little read of this. What's this book? Walt Whitman. Oh, I've never been a fan of Whitman's poems, to be honest. But he's all right, but... Collection of poetry. Fair dues. And, what's this? Oh, it's a bookmark. Timberland book. Oh, have I just pulled the bookmark out of the book? That's one of the most annoying things you can do, I tell you. Um, Stereo Town Centre. Okay. Oh, take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Rick. Who's Rick? Have we missed someone? Have I? I don't know if Rick's been mentioned before. I don't remember the name Rick. Okay, so... Okay, all right, I see. So somebody's lent... So this person called Rick has presumably lent this poetry book, because that was in there, to either the mum or the dad? I've forgotten the... Terry or Jan, was it, I think? I can't remember the mum's name. Jan, I think. So, th yeah, somebody... They've been lent poetry book by them, anyway. Let's see. Oh, God, right. <coughs> so I told you this is going to be a lot of reading in this, but uh, bear with me. Dear Jan, oh, honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Uh, Bob and I have had our own down periods. Uh, it's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other, now you live... Uh, you get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house, the kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry, this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry, Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. It's probably his book publishing fiasco, isn't it? Yeah. Um, things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. Um... In the meantime, though, this control burn, that sounds like quite the adventure. But let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent, that's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick. Oh, Rick, ah. Oh, so it's, ah, because we saw in the previous part that there was, yeah, she, this, Jan was supposed to be in charge of some new member of, sort of, of the, of the commission that was being sent up to help with the burn. So it's presumably this Rick is that person. Um, and yeah, obviously they... Okay, interesting. And he's lent her, they presumably her, this book then. Okay. 
you have to be kidding me, uh, it's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump, and in the meantime, uh, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Okay. I oh, you see, that's interesting, because if these two are having marital issues, and then Rick's lending her this book on poetry, it's kind of showing that Rick and Jan have got interests together, and if they're going to be working together, uh, could potentially spell trouble for the marriage. I don't know, possibly. I don't know. Again, I may be jumping into... Oh, it was on. Uh, watercolour technique. Uh, florals and still lives. So somebody... Oh, I can't get over the fact that all these books have ISBNs on them. That's amazing. Anyway, um, so somebody, possibly Jan, has an interesting watercolour pictures. I see. Any clothes? No. Oh. Oh. Grab matchbook. Overlook restaurant establishment. Oh, there was a matchbook downstairs, wasn't there, on the... <gasps> oh no! Oh no, Rick, 8 o'clock Friday. Oh dear. Okay, well that... Um, and the fact that that's almost hidden behind those boxes, I only caught a glimpse of it when I was kind of looking down at the book. That's very well placed by the game designer, because you come and pick up the book, and you could easily miss that, but there is also a fair chance you'd see it, so it's yeah, interesting. So she was she's arranged some kind of a, possibly a date with this Rick. Oh, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good for the marriage at all. I'm personally one of those people that i not keyed on this whole kind of infidelity thing. I know some people say, well, what you don't, what you don't know doesn't hurt you, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, don't agree with that. Anyway, anyway, hmm. Okay, so that was a parent's bedroom. Have we been in this one? What's this one? Hang on, is there bags and stuff? Oh, hello. Um, hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction? After School at the Coliseum, that's a great film. It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. Um, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. Um, so that's Lonnie wrote that. Uh, my mum is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it probably. Ah, uh, ah, you see, now even that, even that little sentence tells us something, doesn't it? The fact that the mum doesn't often do family meals, so that's showing again that there's distance between all the different people in the family. And she's obviously trying to make the effort there by cooking dinner for everybody so they can all kind of have tea as a family. Interesting. Um, what time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to bath? Um, according to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart. I guess. Okay, Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Ah, yes, the, um, what is it? Uh, Royale with cheese. Yeah, that was it. That whole conversation they have in the car at the beginning. Um, also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay, don't barf. Haha, <laughs> alright, see you there. And there's a barfing cheeseburger. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, hang on. Oh, I noticed a heart at the bottom, and I was, but it's pointing at the, the sketch. Anyway. Okay, so this is presumably the spare bathroom, or the parents' ba Oh, God almighty, what happened in here? Okay, how is... Oh, hang on. Ah, thank God for that. I was panicking then. Hair colour, so it's just the red stains that I thought were blood were actually just hair dye. I can't turn that. Okay. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. That's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. Okay. I've got to say, she's got quite a cute voice, that Sam. The one playing Sam. I like her voice. Um, so, okay, so we've got various feminine hygiene products, is the polite way of saying it, I think, in there. Um... So she's dyed her hair. So she did have pink hair in the um in that photo. Again, I'm still not convinced that they would be alright with that in the military, but anyway. I thought I saw 
What the hell? Still hearing odd noises around the house. I've kind of got used to it now, but what the? Okay, that doesn't look at all eerie, does it? Or terrifying? What the hell? I'm just gonna just gonna quickly peek. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. And the lights are on. I wonder if she's up there. I wonder if somebody's up there. Oh god. Anyway, um, what did we miss? We went in there, so we're at this door now. Let's have a quick peek here. Katie, Mum and Dad were going to uh, make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. But you came home on such short notice they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Oh, so this is... No, this can't be Sam's room, because... Oh, this is the spare room that was going to be made up. It wasn't made up in time, because she was early. I see. I see. Paintings and stuff. Okay, interesting. Jeez, it's quite a small room, isn't it? Anyway. Nice. Okay, so just all boxes of Katie's stuff. There we go. She's got quite a bit of stuff, I guess. Composition book. Samantha Green buys. This is Sam's. It. Ghost Hunter Journal. Nice. I like this. Even the little price tag in the corner is pretty cool. I mean, it looks like a, a real one, you know. Anyway. Um, sighting Journal. August 31st. Blah, blah, blah. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Oh. so they were, Oh, yeah, because they were looking for the ghost of Uncle Oscar. The crazy one. Um, note, I was not wearing my glasses. Interesting. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, a faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Um, and then last one. Poured milk from carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure. I read that spirits can spoil milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. <gasps> Moo. Ghost milk. I like that. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We built a protective pillow. For oh, so, ah, so it was them that built the fort. Built the fort because we saw it uh, in the, one of the previous parts. We saw the fort, and I wondered. I wondered who had made a den. Uh, Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Oh God, Ouija board. This doesn't doesn't bode well. April and I did a Ouija board not long ago, actually. Um, after too many glasses of wine. Anyway, disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Um, enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Um, Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. So she's obviously, yeah, the sort of I want to believe kind of thing. Um, possible ectoplasm in attic, attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample take, sample taken, just in case. I love it. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around four. All in all, a successful night. Nice. It's that sort of thing you do when you're kids. Yeah, I remember doing that kind of thing. Hey Sam, you were asking about my. What the hell? Ah. Uh J R O T C ribbons. I don't know what that is. Meant here's a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team. Uh, the army has branded me as a certified killing machine and adventure training. I am a born adventuress with no borders, and no borders can hold me. The army recognises this. Um, so if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Yeah, because she's got into her kind of... See, I mean, over here we have things like the cadets and stuff, so I suppose that's the equivalent of um, of that, I presume, anyway. Ah, the cadets. Right, anyway. Slightly odd that this one's already open. Anyway, let's chuck the light on. Interesting. No idea what this room is. It's got a random easel set up. Tape player, but no tape. Not got more lights. I was gonna say, there we go. Um, examine for performance evaluation. Richard. Oh. Oh, Rick. Yeah, that's him, isn't it? Oh, so Janice or Jan had to evaluate Rick's performance, basically. Yeah, and this is what she and she's given him like full marks on literally everything. Okay, I'll just have a little check what it says. Ranger Patermack, Patermack, odd name, has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn uh, preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contribution to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Oh no! Uh, so she basically wants Rick to work there all the time. 
obviously that's more than just a professional thing as well. Oh, God. See, I don't like Rick already because I see him as kind of breaking up the home. Not intentionally, maybe, but I don't know. Oh, I see. So somebody was painting that vase of flowers. Interesting. Is there any water in it, though? Okay. I don't know if that has any significance. I mean, somebody's... Oh, because she had a book earlier in the cupboard, didn't she, that said about watercolours. Yes, yeah, so Janice is obviously into paintings and stuff. Halloween show. The Misfits, they're awesome. Don't forget your costume. Stygian Lounge. I'll see you there. I don't know. I presume that's from Lonnie to Sam? Or from Sam to... Yeah, no, no, it's got L at the bottom, so from Lonnie to Sam. Sometimes you just have to lie to Mom and Dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to Mom and Dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Okay, there we go. So yet more evidence. As I said, the, the evidence is becoming somewhat insurmountable about um, how Sam obviously feels about Lonnie. Let's give this a go. Heavens to Betsy. Nothing can stop me. Let's give it a try. The others have been terrible. Hmm. A slightly grungy feel about it. It's always when I start singing that the music gets terrible. But anyway, yeah, no, not bad keen on that to be honest. Not my cup of tea, but there we go. Okay, let's see what's in... Jesus, this incredibly creepy room. Again, I mean, there's been no signs of any kind of ghosts or spirits or anything. And yet, this game is amazingly creepy. Healthy choices, skills for a healthy life. Okay, not totally sure what that's about. Oh, examine map. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage and it had... Oh, secret passage? Okay, it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Um, oh my god, I've got to see this, we're skipping sixth. Wow, okay. Right. Oh, we're in the sewing room. Okay. I see. Oh, wow. Awesome costume. Oh! Captain Allegra and first mate. Yes. So it's going to be Lonnie um, and Sam dressed up as the two people from her story. That's awesome. I like it. She's got a real obsession with that. Um. Jesus. What? How would that even... How would that even fit in there? That's surely not possible. It's like TARDIS table. Oh, hang on, there's another cassette here. What's this? What's this? Is that just... for Sam? Hang on, just see if there's a little note. Don't look here. There's something written on the other side, but I can't quite read it. It won't let me... It won't let me turn it round. Oh, there's no way I could read that, I don't think. It, it, it goes... It falls... Yeah, there's something written there. With, like, a little red dot, but I can't read that. I'd need, like, a mirror or something. Damn it. Oh, well. So, let's go and investigate this secret passage. Although, I kind of want to have a... I'm going to leave that for the moment. Let's go back to the, um... How do we get back to the, uh... Where was the library? Was it down? Oh, for God's sake. Was it all the way downstairs? And this is as quick as you can move, unfortunately. But anyway. No, I've got to say, I must stop whinging. This game is fantastic. It really is. It's amazing. It's uh, just the way you piece together little bits and sort of work out so much about the dynamic between... Oh, uh, the dynamic between the family and um, the sort of events that have happened in their in their time, you know, and that, and uh, it's it's to say it's great. It's just all piecing it together, but without being directly told. It's more sort of indirect uh, inference, really. Yeah, we opened. It. Oh, we didn't find a code for 
for Sam's locker, did we? So we'll have to look for that further. Okay. Hang on, have I gone the wrong way? Get up! Where's the secret? There's a secret passage somewhere. Is it one of these? Oh! Oh my god! I see what she means by creepy. Bloody hell. Oh my god, what the fudge? I can't, I'm trying to read what that says. Smart, tailored suits for women and misses. Okay. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Okay. Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie's secret house investigation log. Oh, I'm going to have to leave it there actually for this part because that's um, hidden compartments. We've got more than one. Okay, um... We're going to have to leave this one here for the moment, uh, because that's more than half an hour. So join me again soon, and we'll carry on exploring the house and find out um, what creepy Oscar has been hiding in this room. And I'm sure there's more to it than meets the eye. But um, anyway, we shall have to see. So thank you very much for watching this part. Hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves, and see you again very soon.